and liftoff. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, who blasted off to space last June, are finally about to get their ride home. A SpaceX Dragon capsule rolling out to the launch pad this week, undergoing tests and dress rehearsals with Crew 10, who will replace the current ISS crew poised for a launch tomorrow night. Aboard the ISS, Sonny Williams handing over command of the orbital post in a heartfelt ceremony. Hopefully we did you proud. Um, to next commander, Alexei, thank you for your za druzba, za komandroka. Butch ringing the bell as they begin preparations for their ride home. That moment coming almost nine months later than planned. Let's get going. When the veteran astronauts launched the first ever Boeing Starliner mission to the space station last summer, they expected to only be on the station for a 10-day training mission. But a series of technical problems with Starliner, including helium leaks and thruster issues, left NASA with a tough decision. Days turned to weeks and months before NASA decided in August to have Starliner return uncrewed and have the astronauts hitch a ride with the previously scheduled SpaceX Crew-9. And while they waited, the veteran astronauts stayed busy with hundreds of experiments, 3D printing, and spacewalks. Williams even setting a record for the most spacewalk time by a woman, a staggering 62 hours and 6 minutes. But the politics of Earth even infiltrating that tranquil orbital outpost. We're coming up to get you. I've authorized Elon. I said, can you get him out? Because, you know, they've been left up there. The president suggesting they were, quote, virtually abandoned in space by the Biden administration. Elon Musk echoing those sentiments. They're left up there for political reasons, which is not good. The astronaut duo was asked for their thoughts from over 250 miles above. From my standpoint, politics is not playing into this at all. We came up prepared to stay long, even though we planned to stay short. That's what we do in human spaceflight. Now eager for their next journey. And we'll be coming home, riding the plasma, splashing down in the ocean. So that's what we're looking forward to. NBC's Emily Akeda asking about their extended stay at a virtual press conference. What has been the most challenging aspect about the changing timeline in space? Hey, thanks, Emily, for that question, because immediately it brings to mind family and all the people on the ground who support us. The thing they miss most? Their families. Phil Post by Wilmore's daughter showing the impact of missed holidays and family moments back on Earth. I miss him so much and I cannot wait to wait for him to hug his neck and see my sister graduate high school. Butch and Sonny telling them to hold on just a little bit longer. Say, hey, we're coming. We're coming back before long. So, you know, don't do, make all those plans without me. Marissa Parra, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.